Hello everyone and welcome back to my uh, to Tutorial Thursday. So I'm going to be starting a new series called Tutorial Thursday for City Skylines. And I'll release a City Skylines interchange or how to do something on City Skylines every Thursday. So first thing you're going to want to do is come in here and change your elevation step. That's my first step that I always do. Put it on curve. You're going to come out two lengths. You're going to go out two lengths. Oop, hold on. I made a mistake. Sorry. You're going to come out two lengths. You're going to bring it over two lengths. And then you're going to increase the height by three. That'll give you a nice, smooth transition up. And then you're going to come over here. And you're going to do the same thing to there. Um, you're just going to leave. You're going to build a bridge across. And then you're going to come in here and you're going to do the exact opposite. So you're going to come out two lengths, you're going to turn the other direction, and you're going to bring it down by two, three. There you go. Um, so this interchange, I had seen it on a someone else's YouTube channel. I thought it was really cool, so I figured I would do a step-by-step -step since theirs was a fast-forward of it. I can't necessarily give them credit to the video because I don't know exactly what who who created the video but uh, so what you're going to want to do here like I did is grab the center point come out five grab the center point come out five and that'll give you a 10 length road and then you want to come in here grab it and do the same thing come out two lengths why are you doing this there you go and then come over two lengths and I'm going to, I just realized something, so hold on one second. What I want to do here, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to actually start here, come out by five lengths, but I'm going to increase the height by one. So right when the line pops up, that's five lengths, that's how you know. I'm going to increase it by one, and I'm going to do it on the other side too. When the line pops up, that's five lengths, bring it up by one. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out two lengths, curve it, bring it over, come up by two le uh, three lengths, and then that part will be done. And then I'll come in here and do the same thing here. Come over by two lengths, go up by two lengths, and bring it up by three. Perfect. All right, so now what you're looking at is, uh, the basis for the, uh, this is the, how do I explain it? The foundation for the actual bridges themselves that you're gonna be putting in, the highway that you're gonna be putting in. So what this does, is this allows you to put in a nice beautiful highway very easily. Just wanna make sure I've got the clearance here. Perfect, wanna make sure I got the clearance here, perfect. I want to make sure I got the clearance here. Perfect. Make sure I got the clearance here. Perfect. I always want to make sure I have the clearance as much as possible because that helps out a lot. Um, so now I want to curve it. Do the same thing for both of these roads. I'm going to bring it out to the point in which it meets right here this time. See how I brought it out to that point? Then you want to curve it and bring it up by three. There you go. Now what you want to do on the inside is the same thing. You want to bring it out till it meets up that point where it's diagonally, perfectly diagonally. Bring it over, bring it up by three. There you go. So now you've got your highway. We're going to rotate these around. That's going to stay the same way. We're going to um, delete this one and then place down the other one just like that. Make it easier. Um, so now what we need to do is curve the other way. So we're going to grab it, we're going to bring it out to there, and we're going to curve it in. We're going to bring it up. Perfect. And we're going to do the same thing here, bring it out to the diagonal. There you go, bring it over, and bring it up. Perfect. So there's your the start of your um, in, uh, your highway system here. I don't know if this is going to clear and it's kind of freaking me out. Oh, it clears it. Nice. All right. Um, 
So at one, one height, you're gonna bring it out. You're gonna do the same thing that you've been doing. You're gonna go over to here, you're gonna grab it. You're gonna come up to here and you're gonna bring it up by three. Should clear it. Perfect. Should clear it again. There you go. Bring it out diagonally. There you go. And there you go. Perfect. All right. Give yourself this nice, beautiful little uh, loop here. Come over here. Grab this. Do the same thing to the diagonal line whenever it clicks in. It's not clicking in for that for some strange reason. There we go. Come over to here. Bring it up by three. Come over. Perfect. Bring it out to the point where it starts clicking with that diagonal line. Perfect. Bring it over. And oh gosh. There we go. Why is it clicking there? That's so weird. There we go. All right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to bring this over and you're going to line it up to there by 10 lengths. Bring this out by 10 lengths. There you go. Bring this out by 10 lengths. There you go. Bring this out by 10 lengths. There you go. Uh, do the same thing over here. 10 lengths. Perfect. 10 lengths, perfect. 10 lengths here, perfect. And 10 lengths here, perfect. All right, so, like I said, this interchange I had seen it on a different YouTube video and I thought it was really cool. So I figured I would uh, try and recreate it and make it smaller for you guys because I, I actually genuinely do like this video. Um, if you're the person who made this video or this um, interchange, it's an amazing interchange. I think it's great. I really like it. Um, so now what you're going to do is you're going to grab a single lane road and you're going to curve from here. You're going to come out to here. You're going to curve it back to there. There you go. You're going to come over here and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to bring it out to here and you're going to curve it back. Perfect. All right, so now what you've got is um, a, hold on, what in the world is going on here? Oh gosh, I think I made a mistake. You might have to delete this one road and this bridge so you can replace this road in the correct orientation. Uh, upgrade to you and then place you down proper. There you go. So, so far what you've got is from here to here, and from here to here. Um, what we need now is from here to there, and from, so from here to here, and from here to here. So what that does now is that brings this one to here, perfect. This one to here, perfect. So now these two highways can interchange with each other. And then what needs to happen is come in here and we're going to take this interchange, bring it out a little ways, drop it down to ground level, bring this interchange, drop it down to ground level, Take this part of the interchange, drop it down to ground level. Take this part of the interchange, drop it down to ground level. And grab this interchange and bring it out by two lengths. Grab this interchange, bring it out by two lengths. And then you're gonna bring this interchange, or this part, bring it out by two lengths. Grab this part, bring it out by two lengths. Go ahead and click in here, just like that. Everything should be facing almost the correct way at this point. And then, okay, that's correct. That's correct, that's correct, that's correct. That's correct, that's correct, that's correct. So now, what you can do is uh, add in a road right here, just like this. 
add in a road right here, just like this. Add in a road right here, just like that. Add in a road right here, just like that. Add in a road right here, just like that. Oh God, there we go. And then add in a road right here, just like that. And now everything should be connected. You can go in, you can remove your slip lanes here. Just these two. This is the dirt, the bridges right here, just like that. Your guidelines, your guide roads, you can delete them. And um, once you're done with that, if you look at it, it looks pretty cool. It doesn't really take up a lot of space, which is really nice. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is uh, just grab one of these sections right here and connect it really quick so I can show you what the interchange looks like. There we go, just like that. Grab this one and bring it out to here, just like that. Beautiful, that's connected, that's all proper. We're just gonna grab this one and connect it up over here somewhere, yep. Grab this one and connect it up over here somewhere, just to kind of show you guys how it works. Oh my goodness, if I could get it right. There we go. And then we're gonna grab one of these right here and just run it straight to it. Grab one of these, run it straight to it over here. Grab this one. Run it straight to it right there. Grab this one and run it straight to it right there. All right, so now let me get it going. That way vehicle traffic can actually go to it. So now if you look at it, everything has its own directional movement. So this can go to here. This can go straight or go to here. It can also turn around and go to here. Um, this one can go to here. So all in all, everything is connected, um, except for right here, which is kind of weird. Hold on. Okay, so that's what I'm missing. I am missing one turn, so let's just go ahead and put this here. This would be a good for a low traffic area, because now you're going to have some... Um, weaving lanes which are not very good for traffic but there you go works good i think it looks good i like it i've seen it the person who created it must have overlooked that one little bit because whenever i was looking at it i didn't see that bit right there where they could turn to the left um for a certain directional of traffic I hope that they catch that soon and they're able to see it. Honestly, it almost looks like a pair of eyeballs looking at you. Um, but this has been an interchange tutorial for you guys uh, for Tutorial Thursday. Um, these could go longer or shorter depending on um, how the videos go. Uh, just real quick, something important that I just realized I did not do is go in and actually make sure that you give them a weaving lane to go into. That helps with traffic flow and it makes it to where they're not fighting over um, lanes necessarily. The weaving is a lot easier to do. Um, so yeah, make sure you do your lane mathematics as Biffa says. Go in and actually check it. Make sure that, you know, two lanes going into three, uh, if there's three lanes, make sure that they're going into a three lane road. If there's two lanes, make sure they're going into a two lane road. Just make sure it's all right. So this should almost be correct. Man, do I love City Skylines. It's such a great game. Here we go. Go through and just add in the lane mathematics to make it easier on the traffic flow. There we go. So now these left two lanes should use the right lanes, or the left, far, the 
two lanes should use the far left lanes. The one lane should merge in on right here. Hold on, let me see if I can pull out a tool so I can show you. So this one comes into here and then merges over. And then these ones coming down merge into here and go over here. That's what weaving is. Um, and there's two spots where you can weave in here. It's not as bad as a clover leaf, but it does happen. There's also weaving going on right here too. Um, I just realized that as well. So there's weaving going on right here. So uh, this is probably about as efficient as a clover leaf without taking up near as much space as a clover leaf. Um, I really liked the design. I liked the aesthetic. I thought it was a cool looking interchange. So I figured I would try and build it and show you guys how to build it because I think it's really cool. Um, if you guys like it, please like the video. If you want to leave me a comment and um, give me a suggestion on something to do next for tutorial to, uh, tutorial Thursday, let me know. And um, if you need help with anything on City Skylines, make sure you leave a comment. Uh, if you want to know when my content's put it, being put out, uh, put on the bell and subscribe. That way you can know what's going on at any given time. And um, if you're new around here, consider putting a like or a, uh, consider putting a subscribe on, uh, a subscribe into the channel. Uh, thank you guys for watching so much. I appreciate it, and um, yeah, it looks beautiful. I'm happy with it. It's mesmerizing to watch. Traffic's not getting backed up, and this is a pretty heavy traffic right here. It's flowing pretty smooth. I think it's doing a pretty decent job. Um, if I go to the traffic table, let's go to the traffic table and look at it. The only hot spot is really right here. That's the only really hot spot. So where the merger lanes are is pretty hot. Other than that, it's pretty smooth flow and it looks pretty good. All right, guys. Thank you for watching.